Hi everyone, Jim from County Corvette. Welcome. It's uh, now the end of 2021 and we're gonna make a little video here to show you what we have going on and wish everybody a healthy, happy, and prosperous 2022. We're in our showroom here. We have some, some great inventory. All of a sudden I've got some great C1s. I've got three really nice C1s. This is a 61 driver. There's a video on all these cars if you, uh, if you would like to see that. But, uh, you know, I generally don't get that many nice C1, uh, you know, level, driver level cars and uh, just, just have a good run of them. So please, if you're in that market, take a good look at these. I have some great C5s. Uh, these cars are starting to get a little scarce in, in, in the low mileage, uh, really nice condition range, which is what I like to buy. Uh, this is a 40,000 mile six speed 2000 convertible and a 2004 that I sold about, uh, I think it was 11 years ago, uh, to, to the second owner, and this one only has uh, 12,000 miles. Still has original tires on it, which we're gonna replace uh, at the discretion of the new buyer. Uh, you know, after 20 some years, they get a little hard and noisy and all that, so we'll install a new set of tires, but this car is like, you know, really, literally like brand new. Great video on that, and then we've got some, some other cool stuff here. That was just sold a little Cobra we built some, some years back for a great client. Nice uh, 63 Fuelie. I've had that car a little while and it's just it's such a great, great, great car. It's hard to find an original, uh, authenticated original engine car. And that one is and, and a real red. Anyway, come on back. We have some other cool stuff. Uh, we have some non Corvettes here. Now a few of these cars are in for service because we're just so busy, we, let, we keep everything indoors at night. Actually, all three of these cars were, were service cars, and th this is a great 69 Chevelle that we got in, a real uh, SS. It's got a build sheet. It, the engine, the original engine was decked, but it is a, a, a real uh, four-speed, 325 horse, 396 car, and just the right colors, the parchment interior, buckets with the uh, console. This is a nice 62 uh, driver level car. And I had a little bit of fun doing the video on that. And, and another 62 I have back here uh, because it's not often I have a really clean driver level car. And then, you know, like a concourse car back in here. This one is still under the, uh, the lights. We just wrapped up uh, the, the videos on that. But this is a great, just a great um, well, it's a great driver, but it was this is a, a was a concourse level restored 62. And the difference between the cars is, you know, to, to the uneducated eye, it, it, you really can't see a huge amount of differences. But once you really get in there and start looking at the quality of the paint and, and just the, the very small details, this is also an original red red car original 340 engine, driveline, and a full body off restoration done to a concourse level. So that's the kind of stuff, uh, it's nice to have two to choose from. So uh, two great videos out there as well, so take a look at them. And then uh, I can't wait to show you what we have going on in the shop. We are super busy and I'm excited about going into 2022 with so much good work and so many great clients. So come on, I'll give you, I'll give you a quick tour. Okay, so we've got some great rest of mod builds we have going on here. This is a car that another shop did that uh, we did some work to. Um, you know, with, with the C1s, you have some inherent problems. If you, if you haven't done a lot of that work, the windshields can be a little tricky and, you know, just a lot of stuff that we, uh, we kind of sorted out. But uh, that's, that's a nice car now, and that's going to go back to its owner. We have some uh, non-Corvette resto mods. Now, this is an Eleanor type build here uh, for a great client of ours and this was actually a car that had been you know built into an Eleanor but he wasn't happy with it so he went crazy with it it's got completely new uh, suspension it's it's lowered now we've got the aluminum cradle in the front and this thing is just going to be sick when it's done so this just came from the uh, from the body shop they, we did all the uh, chassis work over there and all the body and paint work is done now. It's fitted and uh, this is gonna to start to go together and just a cool car. This is gonna be a really nice build. Here's a car we're just wrapping up here. The interior just got finished in it. Everything's just nice custom supple leather and done the way the client wanted it. And you know, that's, that's what we do here. You know, if the client has a certain vision, 
we will make that vision come true. And, uh, you know, this is, this is what he wanted. And uh, it's, it's, it's cool. So anyway, this is wrapped up. We did, uh, we did a complete build on this one and, uh, great colors. It's like an Aston Martin type color, just a great uh, shade on these cars. Really any, any of the cars, the 69s, uh, the C2 coupes. I mean, it's just, just a pretty, pretty color. Um, I know we've covered this car before. This one's coming down the home stretch here. This is another 69. And uh, get, get a look in here with this uh, console, what we're doing here. Now this uh, part of the fit up, this will swap uh, in between the body shop and back and forth a few times to get all this fit up uh, done exactly the way we want it. But this whole interior is gonna be a, uh, you know, a saddle type and everything in here is getting covered with leather. So we're getting it all fitted up. We've gotta create the spacing in here. It's quite complex, and the uh, right now we're just doing the seat belts here. These are C7 seat belt assemblies, and uh, this thing this thing's coming together real nice. So uh, this console arrangement, you know, we've we've used a few of these and modified them to, to the way we want to see it, and uh, it's just a it's just a really cool uh, twist on how the uh, the original consoles looked. So this is this is fun, and we have a couple other. Well, just one other rest of mod over here at the moment. This is a 58 that we're, we're coming down the home stretch on this one. Gorgeous color. It's a pearl with the uh, silver cove and uh, reddens here. It's just, just going to pop. This is the third one we're building for this client. We're not stopping here. Anyway, uh, fun build and uh, these things really perform well. And uh, it's just a very popular combination the way we're doing them with these uh, street shop chassis so uh, looking forward to seeing this one wrapped up cars just stunning outside in this in this pearl white just a really pretty and it was it was a car that he uh, when he was 16 I think he was 15 he told me the story that's why he wanted another white c1 he was a he was a lifeguard and his buddy had a white 62 and He's, he's reliving that uh, moment, but he wanted to do something different. We have a, we had done a 60 for him, a 55, and then this 58 became available, and he liked the trim on that. So, anyway, we got more stuff. Let's see uh, some of these other jobs that we have in process here. I believe we just started a 57 resto mod. That's over in the body shop. So, walk with me. Here's another 69. Um, this is that shade of uh, silver that is just so popular. And then we're putting the C7 seats in here, just really with the uh, modern seat belts. This retains the stock tilt telescopic because that's really a nice steering column, but it has all the Dakota digital gauges in it. Again, that custom console, that's actually over in the body shop right now. And uh, these are popular, really popular builds. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't do these fast enough. Okay, so we've got a couple other builds in here. Lots of general work and in, in, uh, overall. But this is another 60 that uh, I had bought this just on, uh, just to have it. It was an unhit original 60 body. Uh, you know how rare that is and hard it is to find, but you know, one of these uh, wild 70 custom paint jobs. Um, that's just what it was back then. But uh, just a super clean car. Building this for, uh, getting ready to build this for another great client. That'll be his first resto mod. He's gonna have fun with that. And um, I think he originally wanted a 69 resto mod and then he saw some of these uh, C1s. He's like, I gotta have one. So that'll be, uh, that'll be a fun build. We'll keep up with that over the next uh, course of 2022. Okay, here we are in the body shop. This is a 67, um, really nice original body, small block convertible that uh, the woman's had for 35 years and just painted it, just doing a quick buff on it. And uh, this thing's gonna be, this is a full restoration. Uh, we still do tons of restoration work and uh, happy to do that work. This will be a great car when it's done and, uh, you know, a little bit higher level than it was original, but the original shade of red and, and 
just a pretty faithful restoration on a, on a really correct original car. That'll be a nice one. That's a car I would own. This is like an in-between kind of resto mod, just a semi-custom. And this was painted, and now we're just cleaning up the engine compartment, just making things a little bit nicer. Um, you know, we do, a, we do a fair amount of that work. People don't want to go, you know, full out on a resto mod build with a custom chassis, but they do want to modernize it. And uh, that may include like a newer air conditioning system. We're doing a lot of those conversions. 50-year-old air conditioning systems are a little hard to deal with now. We can still deal with it to a certain extent, but nothing's going to work better than a, you know, a new system with the newer refrigerants and all that. So, um, got a wild custom here from the 70s. This was his, uh, this guy's father's car back in the day, and it's crazy. But this is what he remembers, and uh, we're straightening the body out. I believe he's going to wrap the car because he's not really sure what he, where, just how far he wanted to go with it. So we'll get the body, you know, as if it's prepared for paint, and then he's going to take it back and wrap it. So that's uh, that's one of those crazy, crazy cars. Here's a really nice '57 uh, resto mod that we're getting started on. Uh, we're just doing more and more of these cars. Now we're gonna we're gonna modify the floor in this one because the gentleman's about six four and uh, always loved these cars, but realized very early on in the ownership of this, it just Driving it just wasn't fun for him. So he learned about resto mods and decided, hey, I wanna, I wanna take this car and modernize it and make it something I can really drive. So we will fit this car to him. Guys are doing all kinds of crazy stuff uh, with these cars now in terms of uh, you know, make it, making taller people fit. But we found that just a simple modification of the floorboards and obviously the seats is, is really all it needs. So this will be fun to watch. This will be a nice build throughout 2022. We've got lots of other builds lined up and uh, we're happy to share this uh, with you. So keep in tune, keep watching the videos and um, more than anything else, have a safe, happy and prosperous 2022. Thanks for watching all these videos and, and please keep subscribing. Thank you.